वेलकम बैक टू माय एजुकेशनल चैनल एडिस इंग्लिश लिटरेचर आई एम और दिन दे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड जोसेफ एडिसन सोशल क्रिटिक विथ स्पेशल रेफरेंस टू मिसचिप्स ऑफ पार्टी स्पिरिट दिस स्पेक्टेटर नंबर 50 डिटेल 27 1711 इज स्टिल रेलिवेंट इनफैक्ट मोर रेलिवेंट व्हेन द वर्ल्ड इज टॉर्न बाय नैरो पार्टी व्यूज I have already given a lecture before on this topic. You can search a bit. It's my second lecture on the same topic. In fact, I am quite obsessed with the words of the essay. I find every words of the essay so deep rooted and relevant that I can't resist myself sharing with you. I am in confusion, however. If parties are doing such harms. how can democracy survive i need your answers in comment section now start our discussion on mischiefs of party spirit as social criticism but first learn joseph edison as a writer joseph edison is uh, such an interesting writer of a crucial phase of history of english literature that we cannot ignore him anyway he is an essayist of a middle style you know baconian objectivity is there and lamb's subjectivity further his style of spectator essays initiates the novel writing to a great extent the circulating pamphlets initiated the journey of novel the series characters repeated characters that are the paving paths of novel writing his immortal character roger de cavalle truly amuses us as for his dramas and poems there is little importance however but he is ever burning he is ever legend in terms of his essays particularly periodical essays that paved the way of novel writing Edison's essays that are the chief of his fame is charming and delightful in themselves and are of great importance for the influence which they had not merely upon literature but upon life and manners of the then time England as well as the now his writings are of all good tests of life there is a sweet pool of imagination combined with acute objective writing sometimes like a social critic and a satirist it attacked all human vices frailties vanities affectations but his attacks were not fierce ferocious or bitter he attacked the little vanities and all the big voices of his time not in swift terrible way which makes us feel hopeless of humanity but with a kindly ridicule and a gentle humor which takes pity improvement for granted now in his present essay mischiefs of party spirit Edison focuses on the evils that are escalating in the society through a jealous adherence to narrow and parochial party interests as practiced by various political parties and personages. In fact, the then time England and the party politics is still being continued today throughout the world. That's the relevance of this essay. and that's why it interests us so much to dive deep into and the essay of this particular number to look into the voices of concern that edison has pointed out edison saw the political world and evil exercises on the same manner on the social platform in the individual characteristics he observed the politics uh, if far removed from its ideological motivation it was rather 
a moral decadence in every corner, intolerant of contrary opinions, disrespectfulness for anything, everything out of this allowed vision of partisan political activity. So, the world is like that of a fragmented class pieces which cannot be uh, attached together or bring back its unity. Now here the question comes up, what's the utility of democracy if parties are such vicious? Addison mirrored the divided worlds of party ethics which had been fatal in exercising hatred, mistrust, falsehood. He explained how good neighbors were spoiled and through bullying hatred upon each other. Even such a spirit caused chaoticness and torn morals, judgments and ethics. Moreover, the major governmental policies which are supposed to work for the prosperity of the nation were also dictated by such narrow concern of party interests. As a result of this, the basic purpose of such policies were betrayed. For addition, it was a great flight of a nation when a country or a government or the most uh, major institutions, you can say, were sharply divided into polar opposites, being devoid of good nature, compassion and humanity. The subjects of this society become morally impure and wrong in proper understanding. Thus, he says, the virtue of the nation and the common sense was dismissed and the prejudicial and the vicious party spirit had so sinister an effect on society. In its extremity, it resulted in civil war and holocaust. He says, I quote, a furious party spirit when rages in its full violence exert itself in civil war and bloodshed. Now take for example the modern era. So many of the countries are having such civil war, such bloodshed in the name of policies, in the name of policies even though the interests are the betterment of their nation, but they are torn, they are fighting. In fact, such a division leads further into a never-ending hatred and betrayal, influencing the moral and judgment which cripple our critical value and sound understanding. Anything you write, the writing, he says, the writing is put into the colored vision of the judgment through party notions. Thus, an abusive scarilla style passes for satire and a dull scheme of party notions is called the fine writing. Further, taking any scandalous story, adding the pies in it and rising suitable speculation of it the faults become true and vice versa. This is another aspect of character assassination, he says. And this kind of character assassination is so rampant in these platforms of social media, where you can have YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, where those handles are misused for character assassinations. Addison had a sharp focus on the socio-political history of Europe. He had not omitted the perinicious phases of party politics. He had mentioned how Roger de Cavalle had a sad experience in his boyhood at the English society uh, in the Whigs and Tories that turmoil had been going on and he was put middle of it. Added to that, Addison mentioned how Italy and France were the old sufferers of this kind of inhuman party spirit. 
In Italy, it had been the Gulfs and Gaplines. The story of France had been quite the same. The story has not even changed through, uh, throughout the world. So a considerable time has passed between now and then. From the religious fanaticism, political extremisms, regionalism, we see the sorry nations of international movements. Be it in Afghanistan, Iraq, Sudan, Kashmir, we see the same detrimental influence of party politics, which cannot have the answer to democracy, which complicates the issue further in the name of parties. The real interest they miss and for the surface interest they fight to each other and destroying the very mark of nationhood. But Addison's obvious and articulate aim was the criticism and improvement rather than the presentations of his contemporary society. Addison attacked the spirit of hatred which uh, brings ruins to the peace and prosperity of a nation and individual, be it England, be it France, Germany or anywhere in the world. He cited uh, many examples uh, from Plutarch, the Greek philosopher and biographer who said that a man should not hate even his enemies. Rightly said, if the passion of hatred is ever practiced, it would nurture us further into um, such malicious poisonous tree in due courts. Like Plutarch, uh, Christ's the passions of love is the only reciprocacy to defeat the malicious hatred from our society. The same story of Buddha is here in India. And our Gandhiji also proves that no hatred but peace and friendship. The universal way of amending these kind of misrules of party politics has been cheered by addition in his essays. Addison suggested an association of honest people to shrug off the party spirit in a country. He, advoc he advocated a kind of apolitical, biasless, neutral force which would fight against all such social injustices, prejudices, character assassination, dishonesty. This association would have protected the innocence the virtue and the merit should be protected by them. Such safeguard should make the man merit our friend and the villain our enemy. One might here object Addison's directives of forming an association even though it is for right cause. Addison himself criticized the party culture. He advocated a kind of association. It's a clear breach of his argument uh, even though it's morally sound but he is also favoring for a party so Addison's argument is weak enough in this formation of association Addison uh, was a consummate painter of life and manners a great satirist and he is always advocating a kind of a social reform. He is not abusing someone. He is neither ridiculing anything, nothing maligning, nothing blackening a character or tarnishing a reputation, but he says a straightforward way that something good to be done. Mischiefs of party spirit is written in that test. He wishes to reform the public tastes, manners and morals. But the authenticity of such observation is not bound by narrow walls of 18th century England. That's the supremacy of this essay. It is a deep critical observation of universal truth. That parties should be there, 
party politics should be there, but one should not be harrowed by party principles. The greatest principles of living in this world is being a human. So humanity is the prime factor that uh, Addison has advocated in this essay. So I think uh, you have just got the main points or the basic criterion on which mischiefs of party spirits are written. The mischiefs or the misdoings that the parties are doing or letting the opponents fighting each other without any real cause. They are like that of ignorant armies class by night. So we as a readers and we as a modern man should understand his point of view that why should we be a victim of this kind of party politics and be a person rather we wish to be a person who is beyond that party politics who is more a human more a character who is wishing to exhibit the world a beautiful one a plain one a white one and oppose the black one so with that hope and with that critical observation I like that of Addison's as he advocated I like to conclude this video lecture with the hope that you have understood and if there is any query regarding this essay you can just pop up here ask me question even few of the lines you like to interpret just pop up here ask me question I will explain you further so like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel bye bye